mixes I've ever done. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is one of the coolest abandoned places I have ever been. We are literally on the inside of an abandoned billionaire's mansion here in Japan. Now the story kind of goes that the guy who owned this place, he was a multi-billionaire, of course, from Japan, a very old gentleman. Basically, he tried to evade taxes or something like that and he was arrested and sent to jail for literally five years. So I'm here with a friend of mine. We've literally traveled two hours away from where we were staying in Japan to find this place. And it is already incredible. Just from walking up to this place, it is so cool. So I'm really excited to show this video to you guys. So let's get the party on the road. All right, so we started here in what appears to be the master washroom. Looks really, really cool. You can have a nice view there of the uh, forest that backs onto this place. This place is absolutely massive. I'm pretty sure there's tunnels that actually lead to another building. Got the toilet in here. This is absolutely crazy. Now, I don't know if this place is haunted. There's a little bit of a story, which I am going to confirm and then add probably a voiceover for that bit. <sighs> Holy moly. That's where the master bedroom like check out these statues rumor has it these statues are literally worth thousands so cool now we did get here a little bit late um so unfortunately we don't have a whole lot of light so i had to strap my light on top of my camera i was hoping to get here earlier but unfortunately we got stuck literally waiting for a bus for almost an hour just to get here Oh yeah, the tiger rugs are here. These are cool. I can't believe they would just literally leave oh, all this art behind. Is this like one of his desks over here? Oh yeah. There's a bunch of stuff left here in the drawers. The lights for the chandeliers. Another bust here. So this is what it's like to live like a billionaire, eh? There we go. Got a cool cheetah over here. Very cool. Another two statues. Could swear there used to be more statues. Wow. Now, like I said, I don't know if this place is haunted, so if you guys hear anything or see anything that I don't catch on camera, let me know down in the comments below. Got another carpet over here that's crazy this stuff's clearly worth a lot of money so wow. are you taking a nap? oh maybe yeah maybe like somebody was squatting in here I can squ squatting in style that's for sure yeah wow <laughs> so cool So that's the view we have outside. Unfortunately, the uh, weather is not so good, but yeah, that's it. Now there is a spot where we know he kept his uh, art collection, all the other statues that he had. Um, we're actually gonna try and figure out how to get into there. It's definitely a separate building, but we've literally just started. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, now I'm starting to remember this. So I've seen other videos of this place. I know uh, several other explorers who've come here. I was fortunate enough to actually manage to track down exactly where this place was and it wasn't easy. I've been wanting to come here now for basically ever since I saw those videos from Josh and uh, Steve Ronan, if you follow those guys. So I'm actually really, really excited to be here. Got all sorts of uh, stuff sitting here on the dressers. These stairs are so cool. Make our way upstairs. I wonder what all these, uh, why all these plants are here. It's actually pretty uh, surprising to see any sort of vandalism here because it's not as common in Japan. But 
Then again, that's the reason why a lot of the times people and other explorers like myself can't share locations. Check out all these statues. It's fucking crazy, eh? There's a door here. I can actually get a better view of outside now. This is so cool. Wow. Check that out. I know it's kind of getting dark and gloomy, but that is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to head back on inside and uh, check out the rest of this art. Where the hell did this tiger go, though? So there used to be like a giant tiger. I don't know where it is. <laughs> That's so funny. This is really cool though. Really cool dining set. It's all sorts of stuff just kind of left around. All these beautiful statues. It's crazy to think that stuff like this actually gets left behind. These like dressers are like super classy. Freaking mirrors everywhere. So cool. It's probably one of the coolest places I've ever done. Wow. Oh, kitchen area? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of cans of something. All the bottles. What? That? Oh, I don't know. Ah, it looks fake. It looks fake, but also looks kind of long. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm not too <laughs> sure about that one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it does, definitely does look questionable. <laughs> I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't try eating that. <laughs> This place is crazy. I don't want to open that uh, fridge. <laughs> okay, I think there's like a spot for, is that a basement? No, it's just, I think. Oh, and it seems like this place has been abandoned for quite a while at this point. Inside, inside a house. Huh? Inside a house. What, you never seen a urinal in a house before? No. <laughs> I haven't. They're not as less common as you, as you might think. <laughs> but I guess they're, cool. they're around, yeah. Yeah, we got all these like shoes and stuff left over. Very interesting. Kind of creepy at the same time, now that it's getting dark. Look at all these switches. See where that goes. This is so cool. I could literally just stay here all day. This is impressive. It's kind of crazy that, like, I just, I don't know, I'm probably repeating myself at this point, but just the fact that all this stuff is here. The lady with her goat. So the guy was a businessman, so I am imagining that this was probably used a lot for like entertaining guests and other business people. It would make sense, right? Yeah. And yeah, we got a nice uh, bottle of whiskey here, or whatever that is. Some blue crest. Yeah. Cool. Just like the design of like all the uh, the furniture and stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying this because we literally flew halfway across the world for this. No, I'm just joking. We actually came for a wedding, but like this was definitely on the to-do list here in Japan. I've been creating so many videos in this place. We also went to the, the uh, haunted Japanese forest a few nights ago. That was pretty crazy and epic. Just to be able to do it um, is unbelievable. And just to be able to come here is also unbelievable. This is like one of those abandoned places that just don't come around too often. If ever, really. Who put this random chair here? There's a few more drawings over here. Which is 
is kind of cool. So many mirrors everywhere. Some what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. They have so many chandeliers. They gotta have all the replacement bulbs at the ready. So there's a bunch of stuff stored in here. Probably more art, which I really don't feel like going through all of it. There's another door here. I don't exactly know where this goes. Yeah, there's clearly more stuff in here. Yeah, so there's a bathtub over here. It's a little uh, table. That looks like it's uh, ready to go. That's awesome. Oh yeah. This place is absolutely insane. In the membrane. I don't know exactly who this is. I was just sitting here when we got here. Just kind of strange. Okay guys, so literally where we were appears to have been the guest house. Yes, I just said that correctly, the guest house. So we're actually in a much, what appears to be a much larger building and there's actually a lot more art and statues on this side. This is f***ing crazy. Let me show you guys around. There's a peacock? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at all this guys. The fireplace here. One of these uh, gold and black statues. Wow. You can tell this stuff has been uh, sitting for quite some time. The amount of dust that's on them. So cool. Got another table that's kind of similar to what we saw before. These statues are just unbelievable. Let's take a little walk through here. Even just the building itself, like the way it's designed, it almost feels like you're in like a hotel. Like, oh my God, this is what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Oh my god, there is a peacock. <laughs> what the hell, man? That's so cool. Oh my god, I'm literally almost speechless. Look at all these statues, all the couches here. some of the pieces probably are missing. Like, look at this. Oh man, there's a big, uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a moose? An elk or something? Uh, I'm not quite sure. If any of you guys know what that is, let us know down in the comments below. As a moose man himself over here. His name is Musa, so we actually call him Moose, Moose for short. It's like a like a funky, blah, 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 like a funny little nickname. <laughs> this Dalmatian here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's a nice leg you got there. <laughs> yeah, it's for your foot fetish, Musa. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. This is crazy. Tell me there's a spider up there. Oh no, okay. This is where I th I'm pretty sure somebody found like one of those giant spiders back here, so I'm not gonna touch anything. But uh, yeah. So cool. This place is definitely one of the coolest adventures I've ever done at an abandoned place. Just like this area right here. Like my god. I would love to have this in my house. Maybe not this, because I mean, it would be cool like if I had like a fake one, but like to kill a tiger and stuff it like this, it's kind of uh, a little bit disturbing, but like this fucking setup right here is insane. Like this is crazy. Oh yeah, here's the print. So there used to be like, it looks like a, it might've been like a bear or something. Oh, yeah. yeah, and somebody came and jacked it. Bastards. 
But yeah, so we're not like 100% sure on like the exact history of the place. I mean, the guy was a billionaire, so he was probably pretty secretive, but there were a lot of stories that this is a place where he would come and keep his, uh, his art collection. There's even more stuff down here. Jesus, this place is massive. So this is why I don't do things alone, because I didn't even notice this, but there is a booty right there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, interesting form of art. Let's literally do like a 360 in this room. Just to get a feel of it. There we go, we got the rest of the uh, art collection down here. This is insane. Appears to be a basement, which we'll check that out after. But like, look at all of this. <laughs> Holy crap. Tons of stuff everywhere. It's like a bed over here. Or maybe this was the guest house? I have no idea. I, I'd like, who who knows, man? Really, when it comes to rich people, who knows? <laughs> this statue is really cool. Wow. The stuff in here is just incredible, though. Like, really, like, this stuff must be worth millions, easily. The sheer amount of stuff in here? That one's cool, too. Okay. Let's go down here and check out all these statues. Holy moly. This is crazy. Oh, there's a pool table in here. It's so awesome. Now this is a rec room. Oh, wow. Check these out. Oh my god. So amazing. These are insane. There's so many of them, right? Oh my God, it goes, oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to say it keeps going back, but that's just a mirror reflection. Yeah, <laughs> that was trippy as hell. Absolutely insane, man. There's just literally so much stuff. All the furniture everywhere. I don't really want to step too much on stuff because I don't want to break anything. So I'll just kind of give you guys a look right here. Wow. That's crazy, man. So crazy. I love these statues. I would love some of these, like, in my house. These double lions over here. Got some drawings. I really kid you not. Probably a million dollars worth of art in here, easily. If not millions. All just left behind. Wow. Crazy. Can you even look how ornate the ceiling is. That look chandelier. Look at this thing. This thing's nuts. Alright, so we're pretty much getting ready to leave. Oh wait, there's actually uh, another spot over here that we can check. It appears to go down into a basement area. No idea what I'm gonna find over here. How dirty these mirrors are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it just goes into here. Well, that was a waste. Almost died on these stairs for no reason at all. So this adventure is coming to an end. I don't think there's really anywhere else to explore, but this was absolutely incredible. Really one of a kind, all these cool statues here. Unfortunately, it is our time to go. We only have a few more days left in Japan, and we still got a two hour long travel to get back to our Airbnb. Although we could literally, literally just stay here. <laughs> Right, like Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. 
What? No f***ing way. I don't think that was Oh, it's not Thor's hammer, but it's like... It kind of wants to be Thor's hammer, though. <laughs> Found somebody's jacket just chilling here. This cool thing. Like, f man, I almost don't want to leave. Like, this place is so cool. But unfortunately, we have to go. Oh yeah, I think I found it. So we were looking for like this uh, specific washroom. It's, like kind of fancy looking. Oh no, this is all just black. Man, this house is getting really bad though. Like the rust coming through. All right guys, so that is where I'm ending this off. Uh, we have two hours to get back home, like I said. This was an amazing, incredible explorer. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe, turn notifications on, and make sure you set your notifications to all because I know a lot of you guys aren't doing that. I don't know why, it's pretty easy to do. And if you're not subscribed to me and you keep watching my videos, like you keep searching me up as Exploring with Angelo, um, just subscribe. Create an account if you guys don't have one yet. Like honestly, it's free. It's really, really easy to do with Google. Um, you can subscribe and you can be able to get all the notifications to every single video that I post. Otherwise, that is all for now. All I want to say is I love you and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.